So let's start having a look at the colors. I think we'll start with the structure of the dough here. So we have our uh, sort of dough shape here. So let's run this thing through uh, auto levels. This is this guy here. And hook this guy up to a gradient map. We can shove that into here. And we will have my reference image here on the side. So we'll try to do it like this. Let's just pick a gradient here. That's overbaked. It looks underbaked. basically just sort of eyeballing everything in. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's uh, let's add a bit more uh, structure to this, so we can blend this with uh, put another gradient map in here, and we'll grab this this just noise pattern here. Maybe sharpen this. Yeah, I guess get a little more structure on here. That looks pretty good. I think for the frosting, like I won't actually uh, do much with that. I'll keep it a single color because I want the renders to be quite vibrant, but we can try to pick maybe one of these uh, colors from this. Just pick based on taste. We can try like chocolate donut. Pretty good too. And let's add the the frosting on top. Or the the sprinkle, sorry. So we could do a flood fill here and we'll use uh, the mask for these uh, sprinkles here. And then we'll do flood fill to color. Uh, now we'll do a flood fill to random grayscale. That's what we want. And then we we'll do a, not a gradient map. 
and we'll just hook that up up here. And go back to this image here. And we'll grab this, select these last ones here and just drag this one to alpha zero like that. So it means wherever, wherever there's black here, it will all be alpha out here. You can't see it in this preview for some reason, but you see it on this node here. And once we just hook that up on top of this, it just shows up like this. Seems like we want these to be a little bit bigger, so what we could do is just we'll do less. That's pretty good too. Now we can do a few more. Let's see if we can just like bump up stuff around where these are. We'll do the high quality blur. It's like they got stuck in the chocolate, so they bump it up a little bit like that. Let's see if we can adjust this. I guess our mask is a little bit... See the mask is not matching there. We can do a little bit of distance on this. We lost some vibrance in our colors here. That looks pretty nice. So let's move over to our uh, roughness here a bit. Actually, we can do one more thing to our color here. We can just grab a curvature and blend it on top of this. Curvature smooth. We can go back to full screen. Let me adjust this. Always looks a little bit nicer when we have some of that shaping like echoed into our uh, into our color. I guess we can try to just manipulate this a bit. 
bit more. That looks a bit better. Save that. And for our um, for roughness, we're to get started here, setting these values. I think our chocolate we can probably make a bit more shiny. And then we can use this uh, dirt node here, dirt generator. So it needs uh, normal, and it also needs a curvature and an AO. And let's just set these down a bit. And this we can just blend on top of this. And set this to add. We can nudge some of these values. I think that pretty much wraps up this part. And here's our final render scene with uh, our donuts in uh, Marmoset. So I have two donut shapes that I just uh, laid out here in the world. And we have a couple of lights on here. Uh, we have GI on so we get some uh, bounce lights. The material itself is pretty simple. It has the displacement on it. Isolation, roughness, a little bit of uh, subsurface scattering to make it look uh, a little more uh, translucent. A little bit of uh, this fuss on here on the bottom you can see. And then on the camera itself I have a little bit of this uh, depth of field on here. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.